guys, welcome back to Lilo and the Deus. Today I have another BoxyCharm unboxing, this time for the month of October 2020. This is probably going to be my last BoxyCharm for a little while. I did cancel my subscription. I've been receiving BoxyCharm for almost two years now and it got to a point where I just have too much products. I just have way too many products at my house and I realized that it's better for me to start saving up some money, maybe, you know, save up for like three months and buy something that I really want, like a Tatcha product, instead of uh, spending $25 every month and getting, and yes, it's, all, it's great that for $25 you get like several different products that you wouldn't um, normally get. It just got to a point where I don't have enough face to use all the skincare and all the makeup that I got. So I really, I am trying to go through the products that I currently have as much as possible because I don't want to waste all these products. And um, I did, I used to subscribe to way too many boxes. At some point I was uh, receiving like five boxes at once. And um, at this point, I, I only have BoxyCharm, but as great as BoxyCharm is, it's also still like too much. So this is gonna be my last one. It's uh, a little bittersweet, but it, this one was a good box. So I guess it's a great farewell for me for uh, the time being until who knows, maybe in a few months, I end up subscribing again. We'll see what happens. So let's, dive in so here's the box the card says candy shop um, save the date enjoy exclusive member only discounts on our online pop-up and then on the back they have all the list of products mine is variation 23 since quarantine started boxycharm was kind of delivering later in the month instead of delivering right in the first 10 days of the month this one actually came uh i think it was like on the eighth no like maybe on the ninth but i didn't really have time to film it uh until now but i was really excited because my last one came you know the end of last month so now i already have a new box uh and also one of the first products that i saw when i opened the box is something that if you follow my channel you know i love a set of brushes for one thing, like all getting all these boxes had been great for my collection because I've never actually had to buy brushes. Most of the time I was getting them from Ipsy, from BoxyCharm, and it's just been great. This bag here is from Luxie. And uh, I did receive a few Luxie brushes in the past from BoxyCharm, from Ipsy as well. And here are the five brushes that I got. Let me go one by one. This one is the 237 Blending, 201 Brow and Lash, 207 Medium Angle Shading, 205 Taper Blending, and 209 Large Shader. I really enjoy the quality of the Luxie brushes. I, as I mentioned, I do have a few. I really like this pouch that it came in. Um, it does fit all the five brushes and probably a lot more. So this one is gonna be really good for traveling. And uh, it's also in the compact size. I do have some um, cases for brushes that are a little bigger. So I guess that this one is great if, you, if I'm going on a, like a quick trip and I don't need that many brushes. And also my luggage, it wouldn't take as many uh, space in my luggage as well. So I really enjoy this uh, little bag here and this is a product that i really 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 enjoy because it's something that i always use and that set of brushes retails for 40 dollars the next product i have here is from frank body glow mask it says caffeinated and it's 80 uh, 2.71 fluid ounces 80 ml um it is 99 percent naturally derived uh Tested on babes, not on bunnies. <laughs> that was cute. And this mask retails for $21.95. And I actually had to look at the pamphlet to realize what it was because it does says Frank body. So I wasn't sure if it was for body or for a face, 
but it says here this moisturizing face mask is natural and ultra hydrating it works to reduce puffiness and give skin extra life glow and brightness it's perfect for pre-makeup late nights and morning afters it's natural cruelty free and only takes five minutes to work so um, I'm not really gonna open it right now because I don't want to, you know, just waste it just for the purpose of filming this video. Uh, I'm definitely gonna try it. I've been filming some uh, empty beauty uh, videos. So if you're interested in knowing how the products that I've been talking are performing, I do have uh, some of these videos on my channel where I'm trying really hard to get through like all the products that I have in my house and give a very honest review because I don't think that it's necessarily like uh, an honest review if I come here about something like this and just swatch it on my hand and be like, oh, it smells great or oh, it looks like it's gonna work, you know? So you can refer back to those videos because I'll keep posting. And the next thing that I have here is from Ace Beauté Dry It Lip Liner. And it's a pack that comes with two lip liners i did apply one of my lips today so i have here on my lips the so gorgeous one and i also received the b peachy the so gorgeous was great to use with my charlotte tilbury uh so Marilyn um lipstick it was a great match here are the colors of the two products what I found out was that, so this is a, like a retractable one. It's not one that you have to, I don't think so. No, it looks like plastic, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. So it is a retractable one. And what I found out is that it really glides on when you're applying. So you have to be a little careful when you're applying for the first time, not to like, it's lip and then you end up with a line all over your face but it's very pigmented I found it that was very creamy easy to apply uh, I it doesn't have a strong smell which is great and uh, it's easy because since it's retractable you don't have to you have a, a pencil sharpener or anything like that so you don't need anything extra in order to use this and um, yeah it's great because it actually comes in two and this Draw It uh, Lip Liner Duo retails for $16. Recently, BoxyCharm started sending complexion products and I received the Dose of Colors Meteor Hue Full Coverage Concealer. This one has 0.25 fluid ounces and I received the 12 Light Medium. And at first I saw it and I was like, oh, this is a little darker than what I usually use. I did uh, use it on my skin today. And so I just want to kind of like to compare it next to the color. So this is, uh, before I do that, this is how the applicator is. And I'm going to swatch it a little bit here for you guys to see. It does look, you know, a little dark for me. Um, it does oxidate once you apply and it gets a little more yellow. And then I have here the one that I've currently been using, which is the Born This Way Marshmallow, which is my color. And I just want to compare the two of them. The applicator for both of them are the same. And if you look, the color that I normally use my concealers is this one. So this one like actually looks kind of too dark, but somehow I made it work today. I don't know if you guys think that I my face is looking way darker than my body because it probably is, but I think that doesn't look too bad. Uh, I do not think that I will be able to use this in the winter months. It's not like I am actually, you know, like sun kissed right now, but um, as the winter approaches, you know, I'm gonna get even more pale than I am. But um, I guess I could uh, use it for maybe, you know, trying to contour or something like that. In the package itself, it doesn't look as dark, but once I apply it, it really oxidizes. Like, see? Um, but yeah, like, you can tell the difference in the packaging. I'm not sure how many colors this line has, but I'm pretty sure that mine would be like, the perfect match for me would be a toned down. 
and this concealer retails for $24. And finally, um, I'm ending my boxy charm with a bang because I did receive the editor palette from CAT London, um, which I was super excited about. I do like a lot of the CAT products that I received in prior boxy charms and in prior boxes. I really enjoyed their products and I was really happy when I saw this palette. This is what it looks like. Um, I was looking online and the only place where I found this one to uh, sell was the Ciate website. I do know that Sephora does have some of their products, but not this one. And this is what the palette looks like. This is what I applied on my eyes today. Um, the shades don't really have a name. I was reading on their website and they recommend that you actually use this shades in your eyelids with your fingers and then just like buff it out to finish your look. I do enjoy some of these colors. I'm gonna swatch just a few of them on the back of my hand for you guys to see. I do have here four of the colors. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, it doesn't have, the colors don't really have names, but um, some of them are more sheer, like this one. This one is a little bit deeper, these two. But uh, overall, they are really nice. It's really soft to the touch. I did uh, find out that this one, I thought it was a matte, like this very first one, but I see now that it does have a few glitters. When I apply on my lids, I felt like some glitter particles were there. Uh, overall, I did enjoy working with the shades and I am excited to play a little bit more with all the other colors. I think I'm getting like <laughs> eyeshadow everywhere. I'm excited to try the different colors and uh, play with different eye looks because I do think that this uh, pan can create several different looks and uh, it's very versatile. Most of them are shimmers. Um, you do have, uh, I believe, three matte colors and then some of them do have like a little spectacle spectacle of glitter in them. They kind of look like a matte shade, but they're not really. Um, it doesn't have a smell, which is great because sometimes, you know, some products do have a great, uh, a more like potent smell. And I really enjoy the size of the mirror that is in this palette as well. It has like a really good size mirror. It kind of like covers the entire uh, palette and it is plastic. Um, but I am super excited to keep trying this one because I really like how my eyes turned out today, even though I just put it together real quick just to film this video. And this palette retails for $32. So this was my BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of October. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you subscribe to BoxyCharm. What did you get in your box? And let me know if you're kind of sad that I'm not going to do boxy charm unboxes anymore. <laughs> if you like this kind of videos, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I will be uh, still making videos <laughs> over here. Um, it's not because I stopped subscribing to subscription box that I'm not going to have videos anymore. I'm going to do more Sephora hauls, beauty empties, talk about the products that I received, compare. I have uh, some uh, ideas of videos that I want to make comparing the products that I have. And I hope to see you guys here again. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I see you guys next time.